stop prescribing meclizine for your vertigo patients. I'm in the same parking lot in the same parking space of a Starbucks that I filmed this video on and it got a lot of traction, it got a lot of questions going. So I just wanted to add a little something to this meclizine conversation and that is that did you know that if you send the patient into their vestibular testing with a vestibular physical therapist or an audiologist or an ENT and they are on the meclizine whenever they go to that appointment that they might test false negative for things that they were actually positive for. That's right, if they have BPPV or if they have uh, vestibular hypofunction or something like that, we have to go by clinical signs and symptoms like nystagmus and the patient verbally telling us that they feel dizzy. And if they don't feel the dizziness or the responses are suppressed, it actually messes up their testing and prolongs their time with vertigo if they come on in that, on that medication. So if you do give them meclizine, um, you know, along with my original video, I want you to follow up with that person. Always follow up and make sure that it is actually resolved and you didn't just say, take meclizine and it'll go away and then never talk to them again. Also tell them if you send them for a referral for somewhere specialized for testing, they need to be off the meclizine for at least 48 hours before that appointment. Please and thank you.